Hi, and welcome to another demonstration video from Resolve. In this demonstration, we explore how Resolve can be used to fully integrate Microsoft Teams with your IT environment, providing entry-level chat ops for your common incidents or request tickets, and taking the increased load off your IT help desk from what might typically come in as an email or phone call. Users simply interact with the chatbot in Teams, whilst Resolve takes actions on your IT infrastructure, such as retrieving tickets from your ITSM platform or resetting passwords, uh, also dealing with access requests and showing the health of the business systems. You could even provide troubleshooting articles and guided assistance and more. So it's extremely easy to create an app for Microsoft Teams that uses Resolve Actions as your back-end IT automation platform instead of a virtual agent front-end that may just log a ticket or possibly perform standardized workflows, Resolve will empower you to automate practically any IT process or workflow you desire, from the basic all the way to the super complex use cases that you probably thought were not capable of automation. Your chatbot can use your own company logo and welcome text, and you can distribute the app to all your users or just a subset of your organization so they can interact with your service desk chatbot rather than a traditional service desk portal. Choose your own top 10 or your common service desk related activities and put those front and center on the welcome response as shown here on the screen. Okay, so let's go through some of these activities and some of the other capabilities that you can now provide your end users with Teams and Resolve Actions. Enable your users to view their open tickets, their incidents and their service requests, and take certain actions such as requesting an update or adding some information or even closing the ticket. These buttons that were presented to Teams by Resolve execute IT automations in the background to accomplish these tasks. You define exactly how you want the workflow or automation to execute using the Resolve Actions automation platform. If you want something to look or behave a little different, then simply customize the Resolve automation. It is that easy. Look, the feedback just popped up. It's always important to run a survey to gauge the customer's experience. So it's easy to plug that into your automation as shown here. After the end user has requested an update on that ticket, maybe a few seconds later, the feedback button can pop up. Your end users, if they wish to, can click a smiley face and press the submit feedback button. Don't forget, you have full control over what you want to display here to your users. Okay, on to the next basic feature of a service desk chatbot, reset my password. Now, you can ask the user absolutely any question or challenge the user to prove their identity here because you have Resolve Actions as your backend automation platform that can integrate with practically any third party system that is holding the answers to these questions. So simply add those questions into the Resolve automation to check their identity. And if everything matches up, then Resolve will run an automation to reset their password. You can integrate with third-party SMS text messaging tools to send a, uh, a customized message and their new password to their approved mobile phone number. Okay, now to get the message back, the welcome message back, you can type in anything into the chatbot. Um, this text is sent to Resolve, and if it's recognized by a rule you've created, then it will do that thing, or we'll run that automation. Otherwise, if the text isn't recognized, Resolve can just display the welcome message again. Another common service desk activity is to add user accounts into AD groups and email distribution lists, or even other third-party systems like Cisco IIC, DocuSign, Jira, Okta, Salesforce, etc. I mean, some of these may require approval and others may not, but you can add both types here. And once that approval has been received by Resolve, Resolve will go ahead and add that user account into the relevant group, even if it's a cloud-based service. If a sales team member was asking to be added to the engineering group, which is outside of their you know, normal day-to-day -day role, then you could even automatically ask for more information just to query that using your Resolve automation. IT health status. You can publish an IT health status dashboard which will dynamically retrieve monitoring information from third-party systems or from Resolve's own AIOps platform called Resolve Insights. 
This is the great way to share information in an easy to view traffic light system. These icons are also clickable, which can lead the user to more information or to create an incident if you wanted them to. You can also provide links to other tools here as shown. And you can even redirect your users to troubleshooting knowledge based articles that are blended with the ability to run automations in a safe and secure manner. For example, as shown here, the end user has tapped on the button for VPN troubleshooting and is now being redirected to a guided procedure in the Resolve Action Platform that will assist the end user to undertake their own troubleshooting and resolve this issue. Watch our how-to video on YouTube or download the documentation on integrating Resolve with a Microsoft Teams chatbot from the Resolve Community Portal. Thank you for watching another demo video by Resolve the automation platform that can automate all of IT.